on this week's prison Pris- prison edition. Brought to you by the Unsilent Majority, Big Mouth. Breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> An inmate at Racine Correctional Institution. To hear the charges for this call, press two. To accept this call, press five. To refuse this call, hang up now. All right. So, so tell us your name. It's it's it, it's 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 Big Tom, huh? Or 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 the the, the killer of uh, the West. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, check this out. What? So recently, we've been running out of food all the time. Get the I fuck wrote out the, of here, uh, man. Yeah, I wrote the uh, I wrote the kitchen, and uh, she had stated that she sends extra to each unit because she has to now cover for STI because all the head cooks quit because you know they couldn't handle behind a veil of blue, whatever the case may be. But I wrote her, and she says she sends extra to each and every unit, even even STF over here, the minimum. And uh, the very next day, we run out of food, nearly the whole half of this unit, which is around 80, 80 guys. I would I would have to assume about 60 guys, 50, 60 guys ran out of food. So I wrote her back, and I was like, well, you just told me that, you know, I've been writing her on this off and on, like, because we're missing substitutes. Uh, we're missing items, I'm sorry, without substitutes, which is policy. Uh, when they, you know, when they miss an item, they're supposed to make up the calorie difference. When they don't make up the calorie difference, they're in violation of the federal mandated 2,500 calorie per inmate per day. So I wrote her, I wrote her on the, uh, uh, about the half the unit out of food and I haven't been getting any uh, feedback or correspondence now as of late uh, of, with questions like that. Uh, either they're too difficult or maybe they're too busy down there. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's been happening quite a bit. Portions are smaller. As a matter of fact, the Cerberi guys are using smaller ladles just to compensate for the fact that they're shorted food in the Cerberi. Dude, that's fucked up, and, man. <laughs> yeah, and I heard a, a um, I heard a uh, CEO the other day says the survey guys was like, um, we don't have enough. They shorted us. Uh, the kitchen shorted us. We don't have enough to serve for the guys. And the CEO was actually like, uh, well, we'll do what you can, or use uh, smaller ladles because we're not gonna re- we're not gonna have them bring up more food. I was I was dumbfounded. I looked at the CEO and I'm just like, "What, dude? What did you just say?" He's like, "No, I was talking to the server." Yeah, I'm like, "What, what yeah, a good way! What a good way to shit on you, right? Like, you know, exert his over exert his authority, shit on you. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Well, the way he looked at you, I can just imagine that. He's like, "I'm basically, well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the server. It's none of your business. Move on. That type of shit." Right, right. Inmates, you know, they they come in here and and. Uh, most COs work, I mean, there's some really good COs out there, but most of them, they come around and they have the attitude like you're an inmate, you're, you're subhuman, you have no rights, I rule you, or whatever the case may be, they come to work uh, like this is a playground, they use you as a toy for self-gratification. There's a lot, a lot of COs like that. But what came to mind when I was talking to the CO is, I was going to ask him, Take a pay cut, and how ridiculous that would have sounded to him. That'd have been but fucking yet, crazy, man. But we're taking a food cut. Isn't that just as ridiculous? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's just that's just the top of the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg on the on the food service related issues and the menu. The menu alone, they're lying on the calories. I keep asking them about that too. I get no answers, no answers whatsoever. I don't know what to do, where to go, how to, you know, bring this to light. It's these are the things that are happening here. That's just one tiny little issue, and that's with the food service, though. I mean, and and you know, I don't want to blame them for a design, 
per se, quote, design. But I think the fact that they do Any short us. Other than properly placed, attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. The fact that they do short us on food and everything, it kind of, it, we get hungry. So it kind of forces us to, buy to go to this commissary. Overpriced, yes. And they have a monopoly on the canteen. Hey, right? Hey, hold on. How much? So I, yeah. Check it out. Hold on. I heard that the ramen noodles went up. Is that true? Oh yes, they did. They went to sixty cents a noodle. Now think of that. Now how much of that? I, how, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the listeners can hear this, because some might not even give a fuck. They'd be like, you know, you're in there anyhow. We don't give a fuck. You put yourself there. You know, it doesn't matter. You know how people are. People they don't know the situations of yeah. other people. So they just talk shit out their yeah. ass. They don't know nothing. But with that said, okay. The what what what's the what what's the what's the most you can get an hour for the listeners? What's the most you can get an hour there working? Well, you have one to four pay rate. The most you can get, I believe, is thirty six cents or forty two cents an hour, right? An hour. And what is yeah. that? That's the but high skill. Mostly, that's the high skill, man. Yeah. That's fucking and around. That's dealing with right. the electrical. Yes, yes. I mean, you and could you be don't painting. Have a whole lot of guys in that. You right? could be. You could be like the head right. honcho, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a leader of many, you know, getting that, and everybody else is getting like twenty to twenty five cents an hour. Right, right, and I think I know what you're getting at. Fuck yeah, uh, because you got to work late. two hours. Listen, you got to work two hours for one fucking for for a ramen noodle, right? You got to right. work two like there's no right about it. Seventy cents, right? That, but that's if you're lucky and you got and you got something like that. Like I, when I was a tutor, a noodle. dude. When I was a tutor, I was getting twenty five cents an hour. I did that shit not because of the twenty five cents. I did that. I did that just to do something, right? And to make yeah. a long story and short, help though. A man. It, 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 you know, it went to shit, you know, it went to stuff. Cause I don't want to have to call anybody and say, Hey, can you, can you know, can you this, or you can, can you, can you send me like some bucks or whatever? Right now, down, down, down right. the road, eventually I did do that, you know, now, but, right. um, 60 I cents you for doing that in here. You know, a lot of guys need that help too. Yeah. Definitely. You know, I need that skill. And, and here's the deal. Here's the kicker part of it. I believe it was back in the 2000s where the la- was the last time that an inmate's wage went up. But since then, canteen catalogs, anything we buy literally has gone up. Dude, and I heard. The institution, you can, you can look it up in the policy in this institution. It, it, it specifically says that the institution is allowed to make a commission of 10% off of everything like involving an inmate and you wonder why things go, are going up so and you're talking like so basically hold on so basically you're saying three and a half cents an hour is getting kicked back uh yeah i mean if yeah if you want to look at it that way if absolutely you out, yeah man. it's like the mafia right. man it's every, like the mafia. Ten, <laughs> i know i know man 10 cents on every dollar it reminds me of prison for profits the state realized for that they can, yes, the state realized they, and rather than have a private company coming in and own these and make the profits, they could do it themselves. And then they try to create monopolies. I'm going to tell you what, well, they hey. tried to create the monopoly on the catalog, but the legislation got involved. That's the only reason we have competition now, the JL Marcus catalog, is because legislation got involved. When, when it's just inmates, we're ignored. We're not heard. We don't matter. Again, uh, so I'm gonna tell you right now. As far as people, right? hey, well, that that is true, right? You're like, you know, they're, you know, oh my gosh, like I, I, you know, it'd be like a good soundbite right now for that movie, uh, uh, The Dark Knight, when they got the people and they're like, you got the two factions of boats, right? And one has got criminals, and the other one's got what you know, so-called oh. innocent, innocent uh, citizens yeah. of Gotham, and it's like which which boat to blow up, and the one guy's like. Give right. me the button. I'll press it. Those people put themselves in there. You know, they made their own decision right. long ago. That kind of shit. But right. I was gonna say now, if I worked, yeah, the, yeah. I, I, what I didn't understand, what I understand is this. Like, like when I stopped tutoring, you know, there, there's reasons why I stopped because the for one, you, you, people come in there, and like, I've been a tutor elsewhere. I've been a tutor at the at the MATC Milwaukee Area Technical College where I'm at. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's all different. Okay, look. You're, you're convicted of a crime. 
So this is why this is the way it is. But I'm like, man, fuck, you know, like a, if, a, if a teacher wanted to bring in a dozen donuts, like the teacher can't give you shit. The teacher can't give you a donut, can't give you nothing. You come in there and, and you're made. I hate to say made because you volunteer. You basically volunteer. No one's making you be a tutor. No one's making you serve food or whatever else it is, paint or clean in that place. You volunteer for that. Right. But sure. I'm like, dude, like you can't give me a fucking donut. Like I, or I'm not even allowed to drink coffee in here. I'm like, man, fuck that. And then plus if I come in here and I'm five minutes late, I'm going to be, I'm going to be shit on. Like it's a real job for that. You can keep right. that money. Fuck that. I'll sit here. I'll lay down. I won't right. do a fucking thing. I don't need to do anything. I'll fucking watch TV or I'll play basketball all day. I don't care. Fuck right. it. I'll go right. to I, I, the, you know, I mean, the alternative is I won't is fuck it. But now to serve food, but I mean, I, I'm like, man, you know what? Fuck that. They could have somebody come in here, have a comp pay a company come in here and do this shit. You're going to make me pay. You're going to pay me okay. a couple, a couple, a couple cents an hour. And then, and you want me to clean and serve. And I got to deal with all these different people. Or somebody bitching about, they got a small size cake or their, their cookie. Don't have right. enough, enough chocolate chips in it. A really good point. Like, fuck because that. Man. Have a company it, come here and do all this shit. And when you it, have to pay them real money, you're going to say to yourself, you know what? Maybe we should give these guys more than because nobody's getting really thirty five cents. That that's the rarity. I mean, you're, you, so let's say twenty five cents a, a, you know, an hour. Do the math. That's you know what would blow away um, the general public what? is knowing that the DOC and they can source this from the Wisconsin Blue Book, Wisconsin's own Wisconsin Blue Book. It states that the DOC runs the DOC, the state runs the DOC off of $2.4 billion. If they were to have to hire, if, let's say if it wasn't for inmates, saving them literally tens and tens of millions of dollars working. So, we, you know, we do expect some type of kickback, right? Uh, if guys just re simply refuse to do their jobs, they would have to hire off the streets. So every inmate working here Saving the state money where they would have to hire off the street saves the state. Not only saves the state about thirty-eight to forty thousand dollars a year, but they also make another fifty thousand off that inmate per year. If the general public knew the the, the, the way they're doing things, they say they're broke. Uh, now, for example, if a family of four can live out there where you're at. A family of four, mind you, four people, kids, can live off poverty level. How come the state can't make it work with $50,000 per inmate per year? Yeah, those are uh, you know, blowing me away with those numbers I, right there. Oh, listen, uh, the, the public has no clue. If you could, if you could cut each year a billion dollars they could still run the same DOC system, the same system of 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 uh, a 1.5 billion. We'll say the taxpayers of Wisconsin could get a tax cut, and in the day in this day and age of of inflation and just you know having to pick between gas and and eating supper with your kids, I mean that'd make a big difference. You know, a billion dollars each and every year. Uh, how come Minnesota can do it much less? You have Wisconsin with about, they're working up back up to almost 25,000 inmates. You got Minnesota that has about calls eight. Calls other than properly placed attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. Minnesota has, a, has about eight to 9,000 inmates. Almost, almost cut, it's like a third of Wisconsin. And they do their whole DOC budget off a fraction of what, of what Wisconsin does. And mind you, Minnesota and Wisconsin, they're very similar. You know, uh, for example, uh, uh, population, crime rate, you know, et cetera. Yet, yet, Minnesota's recidivism rate is a fraction of Wisconsin. Hey, well, you know what I would say about that? That's because you fuck when you're outside when you're when you're on the other side man you know they don't they don't do day for day man like you know all this time don't count if a person gets revocated they're gonna go back if you got five years of probation right and you get revocated right. you could have been out for fucking four years 364 days and guess what you're gonna fucking do 
five fucking years, man. And yet this whole yep. time, that whole time, that four, whole four years, 364 days, you might have been walking that tightrope and you step and you're like exactly. walking with the fucking eggshell talk shit, you're walking on eggshells. And guess what, though? That shit don't matter at all. Now you're back to square one and you got to fuck with these fuckers over and over. And now you're back to the beginning, fucking and, with these fuckers. That's it. Fucking with the fuckers. And, and the general public. Is, is unaware of how this system works like that. You can have a man who has a five-year sentence, and he'll end up doing 20 years in prison on that hey, five-year hey, sentence. Hey, check this out. And when, people when, say, well, how can they do that? Well, it's just what, what you just fuck, said. It's a reset That's how game. They do it. It's a reset game. It's a revolving yeah. door, and it's a it's milk a motherfucker. Game. It's a milk motherfucker, like a, they're a cow. And... Um, like I remember, right. I remember and their families, dude, exactly. And that, that's something, you know, what is not taken in consideration that's what they're doing. Or uh, let me say this. I would, if I were to say that's something that's not taken in consideration, that's not entirely true. Cause it depends on the person's situation. Cause you have a person that's convicted of a particular crime and they'll just totally shit on them and say, fuck you, fuck you. And then they're like, no, no, right. no. And they don't want to open up any doors for you. Right. But at the same right. token, right. um, and, be, and yet if it's the other, if the shoes on the other foot, then it, it might be different. It might, it might be different, you know? But I remember oh, when sure. I, I do, well, you know, dude, listen, I bumped into most, some guy, check it out, check it out. When I first got there and I bumped into some guy and I'm playing spades with him and whatever, you know, cause I'm playing fucking spades. There's nothing else to do. Right. And the, I remember the guy yeah. was talking and he's like talking about that same shit. I, I want to literally say, I, I'm not trying to fucking ride you. When I say this, the guy was like five becoming 20. And it was in reference to that. Yeah. It was like, you know, like this, like it's the guy could have just revocated himself and said, fuck it. Do do all the time. Make the state pay Make the state pay for you to sit in that motherfucker, and then that's it. And then when you walk out, yep. you don't have to answer anybody. You don't have to kiss anybody's yeah. ass, and you're back to your life. You know? Like, if yeah. you're not breaking any and laws. The taxpayers knew, and if the taxpayers knew how that works, and you're, you're, you didn't. Because you, didn't, you got, you got uh, people that are oblivious. Crime, Dude. You weren't convicted, so therefore, why should you go to prison? Now, if the taxpayers knew how that worked, they could realize how much money they could save. You know, but that's the thing. You got people that are just oblivious. And I, I was oblivious to this shit, you know, like, I, you know, I to too. me, it was, was out of too. sight, out of mind. But now I'm like, yep. fuck, dude, here I am. I I had absolute faith. Well, not absolute, we but I, I had a high percentage of faith in the system before this happened to me. Absolutely. My case number is 2010-CF-189. Fond du Lac County. Anybody can look my case up and see how, you know, the kinds of misconduct and, and how these things transpire in, in sham trials and stuff. It's, it's amazing. And then how the taxpayer gets built out of their money by the state supporting the DOC. It's, it's unbelievable. And most guys, you know, that bridge to success that they say, that little picture, yeah. most guys end up under that bridge. <laughs> wow. That's their address. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I think, I think it said we had a minute or something. It's yeah, yeah. Call hit me up, you know, buddy. Hey, keep hitting me up. Have a know. great day, huh? You too, brother. <laughs> you too, man. I, I will. Yeah, absolutely. I'll All call right. you again, man. All right. God bless All you, right. brother. Later, Rich. Yep, yep. You too. Yep.